Hey guys, Fumbleek here today and welcome back to City Skylines Snowfall. So between this part and the last part, a few, well, a lot of the mods have been updated. Uh, thankfully, there's actually been a new version of Traffic Plus Plus release, which I am super happy about. I've missed this mod, but it's been updated. Uh, thanks to the guys that did the, uh, the network extensions mod. Basically, they've now sort of integrated network extensions with traffic plus plus mod so yeah so we have all our little roads back in all our extra roads but then they've also added in um the sort of bus lane roads from traffic plus plus that's now in the network extensions mod and then traffic plus plus now is just the mod that does uh lanes and lane assignments which i've always greatly preferred over uh traffic manager so i'm glad i can use it uh so that's been updated i still can't play in my regular series uh which is uh season three because the uh the train stations haven't been updated so all the elevated train stations i that that mod doesn't work at all right now i can't even load the city it doesn't even load it just freezes loading when i if i try to go into it so hopefully that'll be done soon if not we'll be continuing here for a little while uh so uh i think we're running low on power we are we're also not making any money which is also not good uh so i think what we'll do uh i think we're actually just going to up the budget for power because we don't need to worry too much about that right now. And I'm also going to turn on the day-night cycle. Because a few people asked if uh, if the day-night cycle is still a thing. It totally is. I just never play with it because it kind of annoys me. But I'll turn it on. Because uh, I do have the, the time warp mod anyway. So I can uh, go back to daytime whenever I want. Right, so that should give us a little bit more power. And it has. Fantastic. We need to be making some more money. So we need to uh, get more residential, really. I think we might... Uh, let's get some trees. Let's use the good old-fashioned tree mod. Let's get some, uh, beautiful... What are these? I don't even know. Are they conifers? Alright, we'll get some conifers. Uh, let's see there. We're gonna get a little tree barrier between, uh, the... There you go, the industrial. And I'm gonna put some residential over here, basically. Uh, just because I wanted to put some more roads in it. I didn't want to have to worry about it. So this is gonna go here. So now, thankfully that we have, uh, Traffic Plus Plus. If there's any vehicles we want to disallow on certain roads, we can... Which is very, very nice. So that's going to go into there. Uh, and yeah, and thank. Oh, I'm just so happy that most of the mods are updated. It's, it's nice. You know, it's, it's nice to have them back again. It's like, I don't know what I would do in this game without mods. I mean, I could play it, but I'd probably get bored a lot quicker. And I think this road might just come up here. No, actually, we'll get a, get one there. And then why don't, why don't we use a little lane road? That'll be nice. There you go. Oh, look at that. Right, so that'll be a new little housing district. Which I guess should probably be a new district. Uh, I might actually... Expand Washington Park. That will probably just incorporate this little residential area there. And I will, of course, remember to cut out the main roads because we still want trucks and delivery vans and all that kind of stuff still using these. There we go. And cut out this road because I still want them to use that. And that. Cool. All right. So then that is part of Washington Park quite nicely. Uh, and some people said uh, that we don't have any heating. Well, the way heating works is if you don't actually do heat pipes, which I think is kind of a little bit ridiculous uh, in terms of realism, having heat pipes throughout the entire city. I don't know if some city, some cities in the world must do that, but I don't imagine it's a large scale thing. Um, yeah, so if you don't have that, they just heat using electricity. So you end up using more electricity rather than uh, using... Because I think if you use the, uh, the sort of heat pipe situation, you... Uh, probably, I would imagine save money because you use less electricity. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. Uh, anyway, so that will fill in nicely. There's no water in there. Oh, yeah, it was really funny. There was a comment, uh, on one of the City Skylines videos. I don't, it might have been part one of this, was that, uh, someone's like, Oh, I'm so close to unsubscribing because you connect all your water pipes together. Uh, it, and it was, I just find that really, really funny. Hey, let's see if I can find it. Um, unsub, no, uh, water pipe. Oh, damn. Maybe it wasn't on this video. I was hoping it was there. Anyway. No, it, was, it made me laugh because I'm like that. And then they're like, but seriously though, all your content's great. <laughs> and I'm just like, so basically is doing that. That's annoying. You're going to unsub for that? I... I mean, granted, there's a lot of really valid reasons to unsubscribe from someone. Maybe you just don't like their content anymore. You just don't. I don't know. There's, there's lots of reasons. But because I'm joining my water pipes, I mean, I feel like that's a really like minuscule reason. <laughs> Uh, so we have tram track. You know what? Why don't we just connect the tram tracks down there? That would make sense. Uh, where's me tram track? I wish tram tracks had a separate category. That would be good. They really should be, um... So if I update a lot. There we go. The tram tracks really should, uh, be... How they work in... If you guys have ever played Cities in Motion, which was a game that the guys that made City Skylines made before, you know, City Skylines, you would... I think the way that worked, it was, a, it was a tool and you could click and drag it on the roads rather than having, like, specific roads you had to build. 
uh, which kind of made more sense, but anyway. Um, and yeah, whatever. Right, so that tram track actually now goes up here, and then I guess it should probably join up to our other tram track, right? Which is there? Yeah. So we can now start building up a slightly bigger network. We're still not making money though, so we need to probably focus on making money a little bit more. Oh, it's going nighttime, which is actually not good because <laughs> I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, what I want to do, let's get, oh yeah, and the, the other mod that hasn't been updated that's actually really, which you, you don't realize how much you miss it until it's gone, is the, uh, the fine road heights mod. Oh man, I miss that mod. Uh, I think I want to buy that plot of land there. I'm going to buy that. Uh, we only have $81,000 and we're losing a lot of money, so we need to make a lot of money here. So I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I think what I'll do is I'm really just going to connect it directly off the highway. This is not how you should do it. Don't try this at home, kids. This is not the way to do it, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to connect it like this, and it's just going to be an industrial area because we just need to make money, and we need to satisfy the demands and uh, get, that, get that money flowing. Once we have actual positive income then we'll be we'll be somewhere uh we're running low on power again uh i wonder if we should use should we use these or should we i mean we can it only produces five megawatts of power it's really not worth it why don't we go one of those right there uh so that will provide loads more power for the city but now we're losing a lot more money too oh look at this blizzard at night time oh, isn't that beautiful it, it is very it does look great in this game it really does um, the weather. I just wish, and I think someone said there was a mod where you can change the map theme every time you load in. So you can't, it doesn't change on the fly, but every time you load the map, you could select winter or you could select temperate or tropical and it would change every time. I think there was a mod that did that. And I will have to look into that because that sounds absolutely exactly what I need. Uh, because eternal winter is absolutely abysmal. I mean, it, yeah, the winter in that is really fun for a bit, but you know, sometimes I just want this map to be green and have a bit of rain. That kind of stuff, and not always be winter. Uh, so let's get that in there. We need to... Uh, well, now we've got loads of electricity. I think I'll lower the budget here again. Uh, whoops. Uh, there. Okay. No, no, no. I'm clicking on that one. There we go. Lower the budget. Uh, so we can, you know, earn a little bit more money. And we yeah, still got plenty of power. Got plenty of water. All of that kind of stuff. So no worries there. We are just bleeding money like nobody's business, so we need to sort that out. Uh, I think I might start doing some some apartments along this road here, sort of main road, like so. There we go. Uh, why not mix it up a little bit? There we go. Is the um oh yeah is the building theme mod back on? I think it is. Themes. I think that's working. Yet. Enable theme manager. I only want international. Uh, no buildings. Are, oh okay, maybe the uh. Maybe it's not working. Hmm. What if I... So, international is not there. Oh, because maybe snow is a different theme. I don't know. Right, I'll leave that off. I don't, I don't know. Because those buildings just look really ugly. I guess European buildings actually fit this city really, really well, actually. Um, but I, I imagine if snow is a theme, then European is probably not in the snow theme. I guess that will probably need mods. Uh, and I haven't, yeah, I didn't, didn't think of that until just now. Uh, I mean, this blizzard is great and all. Oh, wow, it looks real bad out here. It's just, tri you can just see triangles of snow out here. Um, yeah, it doesn't look good at a distance. When you zoom in, though, it, so it looks much better. I don't know why it looks like triangles out here, though. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Look at that sun's sun. I was going to say sunset. Sunrise! Look at that. All right, so we need more industrial because, uh, we're making money, though. So that is actually a really, really good thing. Uh, believe it or not, making money is good. <laughs> it's good. It's something that we need to do. You know, one of, one of the uh, the fundamental requirements of this game is that you, uh, you know, produce a profit. So, yeah. Alright, so there we go. Those guys will go there. We're having a lot of snow on the roads at the moment. I'm wondering if we need to get... Yeah, and there's a lot of people being like, what the hell is a snow deeper? Yeah, because that's not a thing that exists. Like, you might... Usually you just either push it to the side of the road or if there's a lot of snow, wouldn't you just push it to the end of the road? At least that's how I imagine it happening. And I think some people say, yeah, and you can also just salt the roads, can't you? Um, this guy said, uh, in Norway, we just shove the snow to the side of the pavement. Uh, if it blocks the entrance, you shovel out of the way yourself. And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it's just there, you know, quick workaround to not actually making a new system. It was just, hey, let's just repurpose the... Uh, the garbage truck system. Uh, what the hell am I doing? I was looking for... Where the hell do I even find snow dumps? I can't remember. Oh, it's in roads, isn't it? It's weird. 
Um, so do we have... How do I know if I don't have enough? That Like, the cover... It covers everywhere. How do I, uh... Condition. Yeah, bad condition. I guess we probably don't... I, it's not clear if I have enough or not, though. I, I don't... Look, I'll just get another one, because I have no clue. We'll get one there. Yeah, this needs to change almost immediately. <laughs> we have people waiting to turn in here. Uh, to get in here. Ah, uh, well, I'll fix that later. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's like my City Skylines motto. Eh, I'll fix it later. Um, alright, power. Electricity is dipping down again. You need a lot of electricity in this. Uh, I guess I'll have to get another one of these. There you go. How much do these cost me, though? These are 560 a week, so we've lowered our profit again, but... It's okay. See, I think what I'm going to do here, I think... Set a connection to the highway there. We'll just bridge over for now. Oh man, I wish I had fine road heights. Uh, and then that will go... Uh, that needs to change that little bit there, because that's kind of... There you go. It's a weird, slanty kind of bridge at the moment. Uh, and then this will connect, I guess... There. Yeah. Cool. Alright, that works. So now that I just get over this way... Um, Instead of going directly up the highway. Oh, that needs to move. That's not a good place. I'll put it next to the other one. There you go. Oh, actually, is this going to have... Oh, yeah, it's not going to have power connecting now. Which is a slight issue. And now we are. Good. Uh, if we give them a beautiful big park here... We'll just give them one of the, the old sand parks. Uh, oh, it's too big. I was hoping because if I put a big park there, it'll probably connect through. But oh well. Um, yep. Having traffic despawn, I see. Uh, I wonder if, yeah, because Traffic Plus Plus had Traffic Despawn, didn't it? I think it was, uh, if you go Options, Traffic Plus Plus V2, no despawn. No despawn is on, then why was it? Maybe I had to click Save. Improved AI. I don't actually want improved AI. That can go away. Uh, yeah. I want it as lightweight as possible, really. Because, I mean, this game's already running at 30 FPS with all my mods on, so... Uh, you yeah, know, turning down a few things if we can would be good. Yeah, yeah, that's to all to be expected there. I mean, we basically just created a, a super bad intersection there. Because it not only feeds the industrial area now, but it also feeds that area. Yeah, we haven't done a great job of this. <laughs> I blame the snow! I'm not used to it. Right, let's, um... Oh, we got a lot of residential demand. Let's, um... No, I was gonna say, let's build new interchange. I don't have money to do that. Let's not do that. Let's get more residential and commercial. That's what we'll do. Uh, let me go commercial up here. That little guy, that little house there can go away. Get some more commercial here, because there's a lot of the commercial demand, so I'll just fill in this little area there. Uh, Alright, residential, we're going to go... Oh my god. The whole entrance to the city is really, really gross at this point. It needs to be... Basically, this area here needs to be demolished and, and reworked. <laughs> That's basically what needs to happen. I think what I'll do, when we do redo it... Yeah, we'll make it a little bit neater, because that's not great. Why don't we, uh, why don't we cut our losses and start somewhere else? Let's build over here. Uh, no, we'll, uh... We'll continue this road. Which is, uh... A tram road. So that will... Actually just continue up here. Uh... Like that. There you go. So the trams will be able to go down there eventually. And then we're gonna go... Get a little... Suburb area in here. Like so, and I think I'll join that one up there. And then we're going to go a little road there. And then, I don't know, some roads around that look beautiful, but not really. This one will join through. That one will go to there. And it's going dark already. That's that's the problem with I had with After Dark. It gets dark way too quickly. Is there a mod that slows it down? Or is that just an option? I feel like it should be an option. Because it gets dark way too- I, I want to make daytime longer, but not, I still want nighttime, but the problem I have with it is, is it just comes up too often. It's it's like always nighttime. I would like daytime to be like double the length of night or something. That would be good. And I'm aware that I can just- I don't know, does this mod actually have it? I've never actually checked. Uh, no, I don't think so. Be nice if it did, whoops. Because uh, this is the little time warp mod, so I can change the time, but I don't necessarily just want to change the time. All the time. Uh, there we go. Oh, I connected my pipes. Hopefully that person doesn't unsub. I apologize. Right, uh, so that should hopefully have some- Oh yeah, what are our services like as well, by the way? Uh, we can't afford any, but uh, hospital and health is okay. Death care is fine. Fire department, not great down there, but I mean, it's covered in snow. How much can it burn, really? 
Uh, got a lot of people waiting on that bridge. That's not good. Uh, police is okay. Education. We don't have any education. Uh, so we'll probably need to work on that soon. Uh, and I can't afford any, so let's not worry about that. We got some public transport. People are using the trams. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is not good. I think what I'll do is gonna go. I'm gonna go ramp. Oh, we're not making any money though. Hmm. See, that's a problem when you uh, stop making money. Let's get some more. Let's just get some apartment blocks around here, because that'll be a quick, easy way. It doesn't all need to be commercial on these roads. We'll get some apartments all down here, because that'll be a nice place for people to live, hopefully, and also make me some money. Because ideally, you know, ideally we don't want to go bankrupt. Uh, contrary to popular belief. That's not what I'm trying to do. While it may seem like I'm trying to make myself go bankrupt because that's what's happening. That's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, so you guys... Oh, I wish the traffic report tool was updated. Because I want to see where everybody's going. I mean, an easy, real dodgy way to do it would just be to turn off the traffic lights and just let everybody go wherever the hell they want. That'll fix it for now. And there. There you go. Problem solved. Uh... <laughs> And then what I want to do is we'll probably add a, a proper... I think I need, to, I need to rework the internet. We need to have an interchange for the city and one for the industrial, I reckon. That'll probably help us out quite a bit. Yeah, that's a lot of traffic there. That's eh, not ideal. Uh, Alright, but we are making money, which is always nice. Electricity, we have plenty of. Water, we have plenty of. Incineration, we have just enough of. So, that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, Yeah, it's coming along quite nicely, I think. So we need to... What do I need to do next? Um, well, I mean, the traffic is already a problem, and that's not good. Uh, but we need to... What is... Is there anything that we can do on that island, do you reckon? Maybe we could do, like, industrial on that island. That'd be cool. I think that'd be a cool industrial island. Let's... How much is it to buy that? 8,900 and 8,000. Obviously, it's going to go up as soon as I buy one of them, isn't it? I want to get the other one. 11,000. I want to, I think I want to move all our industrial onto this island. I think that'll be epic. Because we also have a train line here, which is perfect. So, why don't we work on a uh, little interchange kind of thing going on here. If we can get out some roads. Ah, I wish Road Anarchy was updated too. <laughs> it's another one I want, the Sharp Junctions. Uh, so, if we go... How do I want to do this? So, we need... Access to everywhere. So I guess we just really need a, a bunch of bridges over the highway and just connect to those. That'll probably be our best bet, I reckon. So why don't we get some four-lane bridges. And the beauty of Traffic Plus Plus finally existing again in a working state is I can use that, which would be nice. Uh, I'm, I'm actually quite excited to use Traffic Plus Plus again. It's been, it's been so long. It's been forever since you've been gone. Remember that song? Probably not, because I sang it awfully. <laughs> All right, so that'll be there. This one will come down over here. This is one of our bridges. We're going to have multiple bridges here. So we're going to have one there. Uh, we're going to have... We're going to make sure they're not too close. Maybe another one here. And then one up there. So we have three entrances and exits, I reckon. I think that will probably do us. So if we go... Like... That... Okay, well, I don't want it to... Uh... Oh, you bastard. Alright, let's use... That. And then turn that snapping back on. Make sure there's enough room. I guess we'll just go over the train line, right? Yeah, we might as well. That will come actually all the way over there now, because the train it needs to go over the train line. Which we will be using the train line, which is actually really convenient that it's on this island, so we'll be using that. So that's another bridge, and then we'll probably just connect these up like that. Uh, and I think I'll use this road. So this will go to about there. Not enough money. Up there. Not enough money. I'll wait. Uh, what I'll do... Should we just take out a loan? Maybe we should take out a loan. Uh, 200,000. How much are the weekly cost? 442. That's not too bad. We probably do that. Right, let me do that. Because that will just give us some money to develop with. Right, purchase. Hopefully I haven't dug my own grave here. Uh, but we'll find out. And then, yeah, we'll get another bridge at this end. So it's a little distance away from that, uh, that intersection there. So this will go across. And then this one. Go there. And then... There, this one I think is going to... Hang on, let me make that a little bit longer. So we need enough room to connect all the bridges here. This one will go and actually turn, I reckon, and go down. Oh, really? Slope too... How is that slope too steep? That damn game. Uh, well, it is too steep when you do stuff like that, cities! This is why fine road heights is good. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn it first and then we'll go down. How about that? And then we'll go down here. So it'll be like that. Okay, that'll be fine. And then it'll come down over this side. 
Uh, and then we'll also need a bridge here. We won't have connections from there though. We'll, we'll keep connections on that highway. Uh, but we'll need a bridge all this over. Right, so this is going to go... Yeah, we'll use this one. I don't know if I'm going to use trams here yet. I'm not I'm not planning on it. So I'm not going to try and use them right now. So that's going to go there. And then this road basically just connects all down to that. So that's perfect. That's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. So that's going to, I guess, run more or less parallel to that train line there. Uh, and then we're going to corner to that point. It's not the same corner, but you know. Oh! What the? Um, that's new. Is that a is that a glitch with my game or the or a mod? Maybe it's something to do with network extensions. Let me uh, let me use normal roads. <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with network extensions. Yeah, now it's fine. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we'll, let's see. Was it some? Yeah, it's that bit there. Huh. Interesting. What about if I do that? Nope, it's that bit too. I don't know, something about that. Okay, it's still a little bit glitched. So let's not use those roads too much yet because it turns out they're a little bit glitched. Maybe it's just that one that's glitched out. I don't know. Let's try this one. Nope, that one's these too. Maybe it's a four lane. What if we use... I just want to make sure these roads are working. So if we use like this and then connect it up. That one's fine. Maybe it's just the, the, those sort of larger four lane ones. Which I am... A, these guys are really good at the mod. They always update it. I love those guys. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll wait until we use those ones, I think. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, probably probably best that we wait. Uh, over, and then it'll come down to there. And then this will just connect up over to there. Pretty simply. Like this, and then we'll... I'll get a, a nice curve in there, I think. To there, to there. Cool, alright, so now we have a nice loop going on there. We don't have any connections to the highway, though. Which you may be thinking, hey, that's fairly important. And you wouldn't be wrong. So let's get those connections. So we're going to go... Yeah, they're going to have to be a little bit ugly because I don't have fine road heights, unfortunately. But, oh well. This will do. This will do. And this will do. Right, now I'm going to use good old Traffic++. Plus Plus, uh, my favorite. And it actually totally is. Uh, so you can only exit, I think, into the lane like that. I think that's what we'll do. That's actually going the wrong way. I need to flip. Okay, before I do this, let's make sure all the ramps are going the right way. Uh, problem I've noticed with snow is it's really hard to see the arrows. Uh, that feels like the arrow should always be visible because it actually creates a, somewhat of an issue when you're building lanes. So those two are right. Um, okay, so what I want to do, uh, I think, so we'll, we'll definitely have dedicated, hang on, what I'll do is we're going to go six lane on the way up because we'll have a dedicated entrance and then these two lanes will just go like this, uh, like that, and then Oh, we want a bit there too, don't we? Uh, okay, well then we need... Oh, let's just make it... Let's just make the whole bridge six lane. Okay. <laughs> It'll be easy. Alright, so we have a dedicated exit. Exiting lane. There we go. Uh, you will now shift over to there. You will shift to there. I don't know if I want them to be able to cross over yet. Uh, for now... I don't know that I'll let them. Uh, I will have entrances though. That have a right hand. Oh, I don't know. Because, I mean, all they have to do if they want to go the other way is just, you know, go across another bridge and come around, right? But would that create... I don't... I... You know what? Let's uh, let's not allow crossover traffic yet. Let's see how it goes. We can always change it later. That's the beauty of this. <laughs> that is the beauty. So these are all just goes forward. That's going to kind of just crash into that guy, isn't it? Yeah, well, whatever. All right, so this lane here. Now, what have we got? So this is an entrance. So you're going to exit... Well, enter the highway there. This will go to there. That'll go to there, and I guess also there, uh, and then this will go to there, and actually, yeah, no, I do need to do these ones because I don't want them turning across, do I? And that one will go out. So, how have I done this over here? I've just done that, haven't I? And I guess this one also needs to just go there. Um, sure. So you can only go, you so see, you can't, there's no, there's no traffic going to be crossing over each other, which is an interesting technique. In theory, it makes sense. In practice, I imagine it probably won't. Uh, and, you know, practice is the part that's kind of important here. Uh, that's kind of the part where it needs to work. So this one is going to be a little bit more interesting because... Do I want to connect it up to that or do I just want to go straight down to the highway? That's what I don't know what I want to do. Because we can just go straight down or we can connect it there so they can turn right and go straight across. 
which wouldn't be a bad idea. So maybe we'll do that, and then it will also go down. So this one, it's going to look real messy. Like, I mean, don't get don't get too mad. It's going to look real messy for now, but that's how it's going to work. Uh, so I guess this could be two lane there. It splits off like that. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I don't know. Look, that'll, that'll do. Uh, so then the guys coming from the left, we probably want a lane here that goes up. And then we probably also want a lane from the actual highway that does that too, which is going to be a little bit more difficult because I don't want to have an exit after the entrance. So we need to, we really need to come from here, but we don't have fine road heights. So we kind of need to go over or under. I guess we're going to go under. Yeah. Oh man. I really miss like road anarchy and fine road heights now because those would allow me to do, you know, intersections that don't look like ass. Or at least I'm not used to building intersections that don't look like ass anymore. Uh, with the default tools. Alright, let's go from there. That might work. No, that won't work. Uh, like that. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? I guess I can go like... That. But the problem is then I have to go like... Around there. And then come up to there. So it goes down and up. But it works! That's the important bit. So, that means people can exit... Uh, to that bit from this road, and they can also come from this road there. Uh, which is good. Uh, that's totally what I wanted. So then we'll have an entrance down there. Right, so that is going the correct way. Let's just set up all our little lane assignments that we're going to have a left. This is not a six lane road, which I think I may... I don't know that we need it to be six lanes, but I'm going to make it six lanes anyway. Uh, make all of it six lane. There you go. And I'll do the other one now as well before I forget. Just all, all of the bridges will be six lane. Right, uh, so, uh, we're gonna go left to enter in that lane. Easy does it. Forward. And that one goes to those two. That one goes straight ahead. Does not cut, cut across the traffic. That goes to there. That also goes to there. And then this one just goes that way. Right, over here we do the same thing again. Uh, this one will exit to there. This one just goes straight across. Whoop, straight across and straight across. This one will go forward. Uh, this one will go there and there. That goes there. And that one goes there. Alright. Get in the hang of this now. We will get rid of traffic lights there though because we won't need them. Same with over here. The whole idea is that we, want, we don't want to use traffic lights. That's the whole point of doing this. Wow, that looks like arse. Look at that. This interchange here takes up most of the island. <laughs> oh, Alright. I'm going to cut forward here on this last one because I'm getting bored of... Uh, <laughs> doing this. Okay, so that's all connected up and I did the lanes on that, which is good. So, uh, let's see if we can get some industry over here now. That's really the important bit. That's the whole point of this whole thing. So, let's get it. Let's get it building. Uh, so we're gonna go... You know what? We need to get a train station. I guess we'll probably have a couple. Why don't we have one here somewhere? Um, I don't know if I'll turn these on yet because that's a little close though. I might put it on this side of the road. And it'll be like a little detour that it will take. So the train will go... Uh, what am I doing? Train line. This, the train is going to come out... Uh, okay, from there. To there. Um, and then it will continue... Down here. Ah, I see a problem. I was going to go under the bridge and reconnect, but it's kind of hard when it's... Raised up. All right, maybe we won't do that then. What we'll do, we'll just do like a little, little loop. Like ah, this. There you go. And because it joins back onto the left side of the track, it should not create any congestion when I come back in, because I won't have to cut across the uh, track. Because yeah, because we're on left-hand drive, so the trains will be on the left, and they'll sort of merge back in directly onto the left, and they can go that way. Uh, we definitely want them to be able to go the other way as well. So probably from back here, because we need as much room as we can to at least fit one train in those, those spots. That should work. I mean, we say it should work, and it'll probably break in mysterious ways that nobody understands. Uh, and then we're going to get another train station, uh, probably just over here somewhere. Um, I don't know if I want them on the main roads, though. That seems like a bad idea. Oh well, too late. Uh, <laughs> so this is going to go... Uh, like... This, I guess. 
Not quite how I wanted it, but sure. And then I can go... Uh, like this. And then like... This. See, this is where sharp junctions would come in handy, because it wouldn't look like ass. <laughs> this one also can't go that way, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this all looks like ass, and I'm really not proud of it. But, we're gonna go with it. Uh, let's get in. Let's just zone this section first with industrial. Uh, all down here. That doesn't need to be there. Uh, so all of this with industrial. We're gonna need power, obviously. I'm aware. Don't worry. Uh, I will take it to this train station. And this will go... Not enough money. Oh my god, I've spent a lot of money. Huh. Interesting. So... Oh, you know what? We can get power from here. Look at that. Oh, space already occupied. Uh... Hang on. Hang on. I wanted to get it from that. Okay, I'm going to go from there then. So this will go to there. And really, it just needs to go down this way. Not enough money. Good. I'm almost there, guys. I'm going to turn both of these off right now because they're going to be costing us money that I don't need to spend. Right, so. Uh, we don't have any water over here either. Ah, that's a problem. Uh, we, uh, we're making money though, so that's good. We have 276. Uh-oh. Our income's dropping. Uh-oh. I need more money. I need money. Especially because those guys can't have any water or power. That uh, might have been a bad investment uh, right now. Uh, let's just get some more commercial because hopefully people will want to uh, build there and give me money. Because uh, there's a little bit of demand for it. So hopefully we will... Uh, Get some money. Alright, we're still getting plus 460. So, we're not in absolute... We're not absolutely dead in the water. So, that's good. Got a little bit of money now. If I can get power over there, that's one step closer to functionality. Good. And then water shouldn't be too far away either. Because we've already got it from this pump. Go like that. And then it needs to go all the way across. It cost me $1,400 to do this. Let's get that money rolling in. Come on. Oh dear god. This could be bad. This could be bad. We'll find out next episode though. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Leave your rage-filled comments down below with how I joined all my water pipes and wasted all my money. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.